SpaceX finally achieved a great milestone in rocket science on Monday by safely landing the Falcon 9 rocket at Cape Canaveral in Florida after a brief 10-minute flight into space where it deployed 11 low-orbit satellites. The crew of SpaceX cheered with excitement as the rocket touched down without incident. Past SpaceX attempts at landing a reusable rocket have ended in disaster, and one rocket headed for the International Space Station on a supply mission ended in a giant fireball when it blew up shortly after takeoff earlier this year. But this isn't the first rocket to land itself safely after a trip to space. Rival space tourism rocket company Blue Origin, owned by Amazon's Jeff Bezos, safely landed their new Shepard rocket just a few weeks ago after a brief flight to the edge of space. Following the SpaceX successful landing, Jeff Bezos couldn't contain himself and tweeted to SpaceX, Congrats, SpaceX, on landing Falcon's suborbital booster stage, and added with a little jab to SpaceX, welcome to the club. It's worth noting in SpaceX's defense that the Falcon 9 is a much larger rocket capable of carrying payloads to the International Space Station and beyond, while Jeff Bezos' new Shepard rocket is much smaller and designed to take tourists on trips to the edge of space and back safely. Kudos to both space companies for successfully designing and testing recycled rockets in 2015, which will save millions of dollars on space exploration and open up space to an entirely new economy in the near future. The end of the year is almost here, so make sure to check out Crave's roundup of the best science stories of 2015 and pictures from Crave writer Michelle Starr, or maybe check out this R2-D2 drone that Bonnie Burton wrote about. And while you're at it, watch a seahorse give birth. Why not? These are just a handful of the things that we cover on Crave, so go and check it out. Alright guys, that is the final show of 2015. Thank you all for watching Crave this year. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave, and we'll see you next year.